Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy and welcome to my new video. So in this tutorial, what I'll be doing is finally going over how to achieve the lighting effect that I've been adding to a lot of my car photos over the past couple of months. Uh, so ever since I put up the video of me retouching this photo in front of you here from start to finish, people have been asking me constantly about how to do the lighting effect which I added at the end. So if you didn't see this video, let's take a look at what we'll be creating. Uh, so here it is here, you can see it's just this really dramatic light burst coming in from the side. Now this is a little bit of an over the top example and it can be a lot more subtle than this. So taking a look at a couple more examples, you can see here I've actually blended it with actual sunlight uh, to make it look a lot more natural and a lot more subtle. Uh, so you can see these examples do look a lot better, they look a lot less random and it's very simple to create so let's jump right into it. So here I am in Adobe Photoshop CS6. It should work in any single version you're trying it in though, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create a new layer, so clicking down here, and here it is here. So we're going to double click on the name and rename this one to middle, and this is going to be the middle or the center of our flare. So what we need to do then is grab our brush tool, make sure our primary color is white, right click, make sure our hardness is 0%, and our size is fairly big depending on how big you want your flare I guess. Uh, so this is going to work quite well for me, I might make it a little bit smaller. And just click anywhere in the frame. Make sure you don't click on the outside here because you will want the entire flare right here. Uh, so what we need to do then is duplicate this layer, double click on the name and call this one glow. Now this is going to be the outer glow of the flare. And what we're going to do is press Ctrl T on our keyboard to bring up our transform options, hold the Alt and Shift key, and drag it out. So what Alt and Shift does is it makes it expand from the center point, which you can see here, and it's just going to make sure they perfectly line up. Uh, so make this as big as you want it. If you want a really nice big flare, make it really big. If you want a more subtle little flare, don't make it as big. So holding Ctrl and clicking both of these layers, I'm just going to drag them over to the side here where I want them, and that is looking pretty good right there. So when choosing the position for your flare, make sure it's somewhere that is going to make sense, otherwise it's going to look really fake, no one's really going to believe it, and your photo is probably just going to look too overdone and too fake. So if you put it over here, it's probably not going to look as good as if you put it up here or over here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is change the blending mode from normal. We're going to go down and go to linear dodge. Now I'll show you why exactly we have to do this. So leaving this top layer on normal here, you can see opacity and fill do the exact same thing. They just kind of fade out the layer. Uh, but once we change this to linear dodge, opacity does the exact same thing. But when we go down to fill, you can see it's kind of taking the light away from the shadows a bit before the midtones and the highlights. Uh, you can see it's creating a bit more of a glowing look effect and not just like a fading out look. Um, so that is really what's going to make this effect work. So the final step now is to color the flare, and to do this we're going to go down to our adjustments down here, and go up to hue and saturation. Um, so once we've done that we want to click colorize, and find a color that we're pretty happy with. So depending on what you're using this for, the color can be pretty much anything. If you're creating kind of a futuristic scene, it can be blue or purple. If you're trying to replicate the sun, you might want to stick with orange or yellow. Okay, so once we've found a color that we want, we want to bring up the saturation pretty much all the way up. But as you can see, it is affecting everything below it and not just the lens flare. So to fix this, we need to hold the Alt key on our keyboard, bring our mouse between the two layers. You can see this little box with a down arrow appears. Uh, just click that, and that means that adjustment layer is only going to affect the single layer below it. But as you can see now, it's not actually coloring the flare, so to fix this, what we need to do is bring down the lightness, and you can see it's starting to add this really nice kind of orange light on the building. So let's have a play around with this. You might want to bring up the fill a little bit again. Uh, you might want to bring down the opacity of the adjustment layer. Okay, so what you want to do then is press Ctrl J to duplicate your adjustment layer. Bring it above the middle of the flare. Hold Alt and make it affect that one only again. Um, so you might want to bring up the fill of the center a little bit more. Um, also the lightness to make it a little brighter and really just have a play around with it um, there's you know no set values it's going to vary depending on each photo so just have a play around with it and you'll find something that works well for you 
But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope this helped. This flare obviously doesn't look as good because I rushed it. But spend your time on it. It's well worth it in my opinion. But also don't overuse it because people easily get sick of it or easily see that it's fake and it'll just ruin your photos in some cases. Uh, so I hope this helped. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button to help my channel out. You can check out all of my photography on my Facebook page in the description or just some of it on my DeviantArt page if you prefer that. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.